Okay, so update on June 1st, um, 2022. I'm just out walking on my lunch break. Um, I tend to make the lunches a lot, so when I have a chance, I scarf down mine really quickly so I can take at least one dog um, for, the, for a walk. And uh, sometimes I try to take more than one, but uh, this little guy is kind of been, he's a border collie, so he kind of won me over here, but he, uh, he gets my attention a lot because he, you know, these guys need tons of exercise. And unfortunately, you know, the volunteers are constantly here. As, like every day they have off, they're here, every day. Like today is a break. It's a holiday. I'm trying to think it's a school holiday, I think. So the people who are here on this holiday, uh, they're, you know, that's how they spend their days off is they're here walking dogs. But with 100 and almost 190 dogs, um, and there's only so many hours in a day, and you want to make sure that you get some of them out that never get to see the outside. Some of them are in uh, kennels where they can't actually... Uh, see daylight so those are the priorities but uh, you know they all need walks obviously it's a it's a key to their happiness so anyway um, I'm uh, just uh, wanting to give an update where you actually see my face a little bit and um, learning a lot about the dynamics of animal rescue in Europe with all the borders with the war um, with people, uh, you know, fleeing the war with their own personal pets, how that has backlogged a lot of the systems that process animal transfers. Um, the gentleman I'm uh, being supervised by, uh, we call him Boss Man, but Jason, he is uh, just a wealth of knowledge about uh, animal rescue. He's been involved in uh, multiple facets, and uh, I. Uh, have heaps of respect for his knowledge and his experience um, and then the people here who had the initiative to make changes for animal welfare um, I just can't say enough about the courage and the p compassion that they show these animals every day in a, in a community in a, a culture where animal activism animal rights is not really here yet um not not sort of on a large scale anyway it's uh they're fighting an uphill battle but they fight it every single day so i'm uh i'm leaving here in a couple of days uh i won't be coming home yet but um my hope is that i'm going to try and organize my way back here again but uh i do look forward to helping a little bit more before I, I, I depart for Tucson on uh, the 17th. And I'm going to be, uh, uh, yeah, cuddling my dogs, hopefully getting mauled and licked and kissed and jumped on. I will not scold them for jumping at all if that's what they want to do on our uh, long anticipated greeting. That's fine by me. Um, anyway, I just wanted to, to do a little update. Um, the kennels are coming along beautifully. Um, I'm fortunate that I've been here long enough that I've seen some real change in, uh, you know, when I think about what it looked like when I arrived. Huge amounts of work done before that. Um, and then, you know, people have come and gone and um, we're trying to keep them updated with the progress because everybody has some, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say blood, sweat, and tears. There's definitely been uh, uh, sweat and tears. Um, and for some of us, there's been more blood than others, uh, but nothing, nothing that we couldn't overcome. Um, anyway, I hope you all have been enjoying my very amateur videos. Um, I know they mostly focus on the scenery and the dogs, which I think are far more interesting than watching my talking head but just so you can see the person behind the camera here I am and here is Tank who I have nicknamed Tank because I like dogs to have 
country names. Right, baby boy? He's a good boy. He is a good, good boy. And he's a tired boy now, so he'll be good for the rest of the day, I hope. Anyway, take care, and uh, thank you for following along. Ciao for now.